Sabrimala issue has become a talking point across the nation. On September 28th, in a landmark judgment, Supreme Court allowed the entry of women into Sabrimala temple. When some women tried entering the temple, they were met with huge protests and the protests soon turned violent. In order to control the protests, the police had to resort to lati charge and soon this news was being broadcasted across every channel in the country. As it happens in such cases, there was a lot of misinformation on social media about this issue and this video will focus on the major fake news around the Sabrimala protests. The General Secretary of BJP Kerala, K. Surendran, had tweeted an image of an injured woman claiming that she was hurt during Sabrimala protests. The BJP leader blamed the Kerala Chief Minister for ignoring the feelings of the majority and he implied that he unleashed police brutality on the devotees. As it turned out, the woman was not assaulted by policemen but was hurt during stone pelting. A video of the incident shows what transpired and if one looks closely, one can see that there is no police personnel present anywhere close to the woman when she's falling on the ground. Yet another set of images that went viral around the Sabrimala issue were tweeted by one Meena Das Narayan who was followed by PM Modi on Twitter. She tweeted a couple of images. One of the image was that of Sabrimala devotees and another image where you could see injured people, bleeding people. This was an attempt to portray that these people, these devotees, had gotten injured because of police excess. When Alt News looked up these images, we found that these images were originally of a protest organized by NSUI, which is a student swing of Congress. NSUI had organized a KSU Secretariat march in July 2018 and the Kerala police had cracked down upon this march and that is when certain protesters had gotten injured. Another photograph of a man was widely circulated on social media with claims suggesting that he was a member of the CPIM who was masquerading as a cop. All news found that this person had no links to the CPIM but was only a policeman. Yet another claim which went viral was not only circulated on social media but was also pushed actively by BJP themselves. BJP Kerala, via their official Facebook page, the BJP state president and the BJP general secretary, all of them posted the image of a man named Shivadasan on their social media accounts and claimed that this man died because of police excess. Delhi MLA Kapil Mishra also posted a video on his Twitter account making similar claims. However, the Kerala police demolished these claims. In a video statement released by SPT Narayanan, he stated that while the police lati charge happened on October 17th, Mr. Shivadasan hadn't left for the pilgrimage till October 18th and he was in touch with his family till the morning of October 19th. Considering that Mr. Shivadasan was in touch with his family till October 19th, he could not have died in the police lati charge that happened on October 17th. Delhi MLA Kapil Mishra shared another fake news on Sabri Mala. He tweeted a purported image of a devotee, portraying him as victim to brutality. Alt News found that the image was from a photo shoot. Alt News spoke to the man in the picture, Rajesh Kuru, who confirmed to us that it was indeed a photo shoot. Not only was misinformation circulated online, but a local media outlet from Kerala, Janam TV, falsely claimed that an activist named Rihana Fatima carried soiled sanitary napkins into Sabrimala. The same claim was echoed by several people on social media. However, when all news spoke to Kerala police, they confirmed to us that no sanitary napkin used or unused was taken inside Sabrimala temple. 